I love great conversations. Hi, my name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute Convos where I help you create a brand of your own unique real self. Listen in as I have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Good night, good night, Sydney Jane Axtell. How are you going on this wonderful, beautiful night? It is wonderful and beautiful. I'm good. It's chilly here in Idaho, though. Oh, yeah. It, it definitely gets like that. Now, I do have that email um, in draft, though, of Caribbean Sunshine that I can send you away. Oh, I would love it. <laughs> I will definitely send out. Well, Sydney, please do tell us which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this time. I think it's my ability to connect with people despite the differences that we have. And it might not sound like a talent, but it's a talent for me definitely because um, it's something that I've had to work on in my adult life a lot. But it's been incredibly helpful with the podcast that I'm developing now and Now that I think about it a little more, it's potentially one of the reasons why I started creating the podcast in the first place. Yeah, tell us about the podcast, please. So um, it's called Burnt Out, and it's a way for um, women of all intersections mainly to gain inspiration and validation, but also just simple, um, well, I already said validation, but inspiration and motivation, but simple validation that feeling burnt out is something that everyone experiences. Um, And so it's just a way for them to be able to push through that every week. Hmm. Wow. So the inspiration came from you being in a similar scenario where you were feeling burnt out? So I mainly focus on um, guest podcasts. So interviews with people um, who are just amazing people who have done amazing things in their life and accomplished a lot, but have also felt burnt out in their life. Yeah, that's intriguing. Oh, so this is not so the inspiration for this came about in what way? Um, so it did come from my own experience in feeling burnt out, but also I went to a women in leadership conference and I was just so inspired by the people talking there and what they had been through. And I thought, you know, if if they can do it, so can I. Hmm, that's intriguing. That's intriguing. So the podcast is available on all mediums, right? Not yet. So I'm launching on December 4th. Well, this will be live uh, probably around uh, after that. So you could definitely speak futuristically. And if you do not release it, then it's it's to the stakes. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. So yeah, it'll be available on all platforms. That's wonderful. Why would you continue to repeat the skills now that you've jumped in and, and gotten a tease for what it is to be a podcaster and to share your story and others as well, other stories as well? It's become a huge passion for me. It lights the fire inside, you know, um, to get to know new people, hear why they think the way that they do, learn what they've been through in their life and where they plan to go. Um, And because of that, I have my stereotypes and my biases, those things that no one ever wants to admit that they have, um, are constantly being just obliterated and people are always surprising me in the best way. It's amazing because, I mean, like, when you look at the connections that do occur, so I remember having the conversation with Whitney Hansen, and then she said that you are an amazing individual and I should speak with you. Um, it's a similar type of scenarios, right, where you're, you're surrounded by um, support. Oh, my gosh, absolutely. And Whitney of is my biggest supporter in this, too. She's a great coach, and she just is always rooting for me. That's great. Tell me one other thing, Sydney, that you've done consistently over the last three years. Um, Consistently over the last few years, I've done graphic design. So for personal projects, freelance, tasks for work, things like that. Fun, 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 right? Yeah, definitely. Um, Yeah, fun would be a good way to describe (laughs) it. Sometimes not so fun, though. Yeah. How does it make you feel then? It totally depends on the project um, and the timeline, too. So the creative process always, always makes me feel on top of the world. Um, the end result though, I mean, it can make me feel the same, just soaring with pride and accomplishment, but I'd say that about half the time, if I'm being generous, um, I feel frustrated. Um, I wish that I produced something better at least 50% of the time. Hmm. Is it that that is based on, uh, the person that is, um, demanding the thing or is it that you produce something and you think it can be better are you like the polisher of the thing before you release it yeah definitely um i 
depending on what I'm working on, I can be a little bit of a perfectionist. Um, that's a detriment <laughs> to me, but, um, it's, it's definitely internal. People enjoy my work and I appreciate that, but I always think that I can do better. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. So where can we go to see your work? Ooh, um, I don't have a portfolio <laughs> published anymore, but I've done some graphic design for um, a chocolate company in Boise. It's called Good Superfoods. Um, and then I've done some graphic design for Boise State um, and then a small nonprofit in Idaho um, that focuses on immunizations. Good Superfoods. Let's see what she does, folks. Let's see what she does. All right. So I'm on Good Superfoods. What should I type in? Um, chocolate I've done- bar. I should type in chocolate, but that actually came up. Yeah, let's see that. Let's see, let's see. This is definitely putting you on the spot, right? If it's terrible, what do I say? <laughs> <laughs> you don't say anything. Um, no, their uh, their bark that they've done, their chocolate bark, is a package that I designed for them. Wow, this is amazing. Wow. Okay. No, she's good. Yeah, she's good. She's good. <laughs> How could this be any more perfect? Oh, wow. This this challenges the taste of the chocolate. Like if the chocolate isn't this good, oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> no, they have really good chocolate. It's awesome. That was wonderful. All right, my friend. Well, hey, we have now. Let's switch gears for a moment, yeah? And let me invite you, Sydney, into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Sydney, what is your earliest childhood memory? That's an easy one for me. I always think of it. Um, I was going to the mall with my dad and we were going to meet my grandfather there. And I was super excited because I was wearing my favorite shoes and I had gotten to put them on myself. And they were yellow and white and they were Mickey Mouse shoes. Um, Mm. And I remember... We saw my grandpa and as soon as we walked up to him, he started giggling because I had put my shoes on the wrong feet. Why do you think this memory is so clear? Um, It was the first time that I can recall feeling embarrassed in my life. And that's a feeling that I definitely struggle with to this day. I don't handle it well. I don't like it. And I still get a knot in my stomach when I think about that memory. Hmm. That's intriguing. Hmm. Well, can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind? Yeah, please do. I think it's so necessary to learn how to ship things. Um, Seth Godin speaks about it. Seth Godin or Godin, whichever which way they pronounce it. But Seth speaks about how necessary it is to ship things. And I mean, even when you express what you experience with um, the work you do, and you, I, I'm guessing you feel as though it can be embarrassing if it's not perfect, right? Yeah. And to see you as a child um, focusing on the fact that, hey, it's yellow. What was yellow in, in, in that again? What was the yellow thing? Um, It was my shoes were yellow and right. white. Yeah, like you, your, your focus was the, hey, it's beautifully yellow and white, I'm guessing, as a child. Is that accurate? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so uh, it didn't, it wasn't necessary to even focus on whether it was on, on the wrong feet, right? <laughs> because, hey, it's yellow <laughs> <Yeah>. and white. <laughs> um, what else yeah. do you need? And um, I really think it's important for you to understand that there is beauty in the creativity of who you are and your mistakes, uh, even if you want to call them mistakes. I just find it fascinating that it connects. And I think that it is a key to your signature and who you are and what you do um, by really being strengthened in those mistakes. Again, in, in air quotes, um, the things that may seem as mistakes. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. All right. If we fast forward to when you were 12 years old, what was your favorite song? My favorite song was Shame On You by the Indigo Girls. Wow. Well, doesn't that connect? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I hadn't even thought about it. It's amazing, right? Wow. All right, my friend. Well, we we have arrived at our destination. But before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form. It's either yes or no. But before we go there, let me help you reframe something. So it's shame on you for being ashamed of that. Yeah? Yeah. It's not shame on you, right? (laughs) Yeah? Right. It's shame on you for being ashamed of that. Right. So, yeah. So so it's either yes or no. Um, Are you ready? (laughs) I'm ready. Sydney, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Yes. Are you married? Happily. Do you have children? No. Do you believe in God? I think so, yeah. Do you have an inner circle of friends? I have good friends, but my inner circle is definitely my family. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? Most likely. 
What about screen time? The phone and the computer. Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? Easily eight hours or more a day. All right, Sydney, after 1,001 conversations in three months in 2016, um, I created a workbook. The name of it is called Yours. It stands for your own unique real self. And the idea is you answer questions similar to these through self-discovery. You connect to your own unique real statement, which is your mission. I'd like to know, Sydney, if you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents Sydney Axtell. What would you say that is? It might be a little long, but um, I think it's that if you can find your confidence in yourself as an individual, you can become a giant among us and your voice becomes as loud as you want to make it. I love it. Ooh. Sydney, this has been a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? Yeah, um, I think that there are so many of you who might not even know it yet, but you will become inspiring leaders as soon as you find a way to start taking steps toward your dreams and your goals. And I 100% believe in you. Hmm, love it, Sydney. Wow, I believe in you as well. Sydney Axtell, thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Thank you, Angel. Thank you for being on 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Stay tuned for more from our advertisers. Diabetes is a mountain pandemic. It's a disease that's not acute but chronic. Similar to this rhyming method, I have simplified the definition, the signs and symptoms, and the complications of diabetes for both adults and children in my books. Poems for Patients, A Focus on Diabetes, and The ABCs of Diabetes for Children. These books are available on Amazon.com, and for more information, you can visit my website, poemsbyag.com. That's poemsbyag.com.